Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, I'm doing a little bit of restoration work on the badge of my 9090F Rapido motorhome. I've already removed the grill and the badge from the motorhome because I needed better access to do some servicing work. And I've got that in the uh, garage on the bench at the moment. So let's go and have a look at it in there. And here it is. And it's a bespoke badge. So only uh, Rapidos have this. So it's not gonna be a common badge. And I've tried to get a new one of these and failed. I'm sure if I contacted Rapido in France, I'd be able to get one at a price. But actually, the condition of the plastic chrome is fine. What I'm got an issue with is the red has faded and has two different fades on it. And it's missing some color here, some color here, which has evidently fallen out as heat and age has dealt with the badge. So my plan is to try and get the rest of the red out and then recolor it with red enamel. And I could paint on top of this, but that would give me two different levels. And also this is practically flush with the chrome. If I remove it, I think it's gonna give me a nice well to fill up. So rather than paint around the detail, I'm basically just pouring um, and spreading around the, the enamel in a cavity. I think that's going to give a much neater, easier job. So, first job is to see if the red parts are going to just flick out or not. I suspect I will be able to flick some of these out relatively easily, but then I'm going to be uh, left with some that are stubborn. So I've got a bit of an edge down here and a sharp point. Can I get underneath? Ah. Yes, immediately it clicks off and hopefully I can remove it in one. There it goes. Yeah. Okay. The back gives me a slightly better indication of the colour. So it certainly lost some colour and some shine. I'm going to make it rather redder to stand out. This task is all about just finding an edge. If you can get under, then it's going to come out. But at the same time, you don't want to cause extra damage to the chrome. Oh, got one. You may decide if you're doing this job, you'd rather paint over the red, in which case none of this is necessary. There we are, that's a good bit. Just flip that over. See some of the difference. Hmm. I wonder if this was painted or just molded. It's almost like a wax but stiffer.
Ta-da! Oh, there's the colour. Quite red. Compared to... Okay, so other than a little bit of deposit down in the A, which I should be able to scratch out with a knife, that's all done. So let's just give that a quick clean up. So now I'm just going to use a bit of alcohol to clean up any wax or anything else in the bottoms of these pits because they're quite green in places but might stop the paint from properly adhering. And for the fine detail, I've got cotton bud. Okay, just get into all the corners. And clean up as much as we can. To get a good key. Why alcohol? Because if I don't get it back off, it won't matter. It'll evaporate very easily, very quickly on its own. So I've mixed up some poppy red paint. <clears throat> By mix, I mean just stirred. It's it's an enamel paint. Um, you don't want to use automotive red spray paint sprayed into a lid or anything like that because. Most of that stuff is going to be matte when it dries because it's expecting a, a lacquered top coat and I don't want to do that. So with the exception of the very small cavity for the A, I expect that I can drip this into the various areas and let it settle and in doing so get a really neat finish. Um, if I need to, I'll do two or three coats to build up to a reasonable level. So it looks similar to it did with the plastic in place. And let's just see how this goes. Got some decent amount of paint on a brush. Vital, but I don't drip it on any of the raised surfaces because I'll get into a right pickle. But theoretically, I can wipe them off the chrome. Um, he says it immediately gets a little bit on the chrome. And it does wipe off. My brush has got a few stray strands. So I'm just going to pull them out. So I'm dabbing it in and then more or less pushing it towards the edges. It's almost like doing a self-leveling screed, if you're a builder. Just going to put plenty in the middle, so that it flows out a little bit. You certainly don't want to use a thicker paint than this, or it certainly won't flow. Might even be worth adding a little bit of thinners. help it move around okay now that I've got that first and let's face it easiest one done just gonna add a couple more blobs of paint to ensure it does spread and sort of have that self leveling effect or I'm gonna end up with a real lumpy bumpy finish going really well. Some little areas, like between the P and the I, 
it struggles to go, just sort of pressure, I guess, building up surface tension on the paint. So I've got a Stanley knife blade instead of a paintbrush to just move a tiny bit of paint into the corner. As soon as any paint gets there, the rest can follow and flow. So between the I and the D, it's struggling for that. But if I just move it with the razor blade. Until it joins up. Hey presto. Here we've got a little fish eye. Might be just a thin spot, but just get a little scratch. And it seems to be healing up. But going quite well, I think you'll agree. Hmm. Going to get some between the dot on the eye and the eye. I can't tell you how happy I am with the way that's gone on. It really has gone better than I could have hoped for. Just hoping it's going to settle nicely now. And here is the completed badge. I could not be happy with that. It's got a few wrinkles, not wrinkled, dimples I should say, in the surface, but essentially it's shiny, it's red, it's neat. I'm very, very happy. I'm gonna stick her back on the front. Thank you very much, see you soon. If you're enjoying our channel, then don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. And please give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and you can share the videos. And below the video is always the area where you can comment and get involved with the chat.